reacting to calls by women groups and other sympathizers of victims of these brutal killings that law enforcement officers should be directed to act more decisively with these cases Deputy Commissioner Edwin Gangwashivi admits that there have been minor cases when police did not act on time. However, individual officers have been dealt with accordingly. He says another challenge is the withdrawal of domestic violence cases by women themselves and higher consumption of drugs and alcohol among the youth. First and foremost, let's control the use of substance, alcohol and drugs. Then we'll see before we come up with the extreme measures. Yesterday, the Parliamentary Women Caucus Group called on President Hifike Punya Pohamba to declare a state of emergency to deal with escalating violence against women and children in the country. Women's Action for Development Wet says it has received complaints of ineffective policies and inefficient handling of domestic violence cases by the Women and Child Protection Unit of the police. Uh, the other standard excuse for inaction of the police is the non-availability of vehicles to travel to a crime scene or to travel to a looming uh, crime scene. In fact, the unavailability of a vehicle by the police should become a crime in itself. The deputy commissioner did, however, admit to the challenges faced by police in reaching remote areas. Gangwa Shivi says the police would support any amendments to the law regarding gender-based violence, though he does not believe that a state of emergency would be a solution other than first dealing with the issue of drug and alcohol abuse. Blanche Corre says NBC News, Ventuk.